Baik, bertemu kembali untuk perkembangan terkini misi pencarian MH370 yang masuk hari ketiga. Untuk itu, kita terus sahaja ke pusat media di hotel sama-sama untuk mendengar sidang media yang pertama pada hari ini. Silakan Atika. Baik, terima kasih Hazel di Angkat Saburi. Ya, nampaknya uh, sidang media pertama pada hari ketiga ini yang sudah pun uh, nak dimulakan oleh uh, Ketua Pekanan Jabatan Penerbangan Awan Datuk Azharuddin Abdul Rahman pada bila-bila masa sahaja dari sekarang. Baik, kita terus sahaja ke sidang media. We speak today, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, the 9 of March 2014. It has gone 60 hours. And uh, our heart goes with the next of kin of the passengers. And all of us would like to know what actually happens on the ill-fated flight. MES Boeing 777, flight number MH370, registration 9M. MRO. The DCA, with all the assistant agencies, ass assisting agencies, have conducted a thorough rescue and search operations over a very wide area in the South China Sea that covers the 50 radius nautical mile from the point of Igari Bay. The last aircraft was spotted in the morning of Saturday, 7 March 2014. We also conducted search in the areas of north of Straits of Malacca as we don't want to discount the possibilities of the aircraft air turn back to the Straits of Malacca. And we also receive corporations, a very good corporations from various neighboring countries to assist DCA in our effort to locate the missing aircraft. And so to date, we have used a large number of assets comprising of 34 aircraft, 40 ships, 100 over men, thousand over man hours has been deployed and countries that assist, assisted us includes Vietnam, China, Singapore, Indonesia, USA, Thailand, Australia and the Philippines. The air search was conducted daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and the search by the ships continue throughout the night and unfortunately ladies and gentlemen we have not found anything that appears to be objects from the aircraft let alone the aircraft we will be intensifying our efforts to locate the missing aircraft there are various reports on sightings of objects that various agencies have reported in the various media. The, the Vietnamese authorities have reported to spot, to locate items. And yes, last night there was a report about the Vietnamese located, identified a piece of the aircraft as it was reported a door of the aircraft, the inner part of the door of the aircraft. But to, to, to inform all of you that that report was not verified officially by the Vietnamese authority today. We immediately called the Vietnamese authority last night and the Vietnamese authority confirmed that they have not 
spotted any such object. Therefore, we are unable to inform to all of you that any object was collected. Yes, yesterday also from the search and rescue work, a number of aircraft has spotted the thing is from the aircraft part. There are two areas and two aircraft spotted an object that looks like a tail of the aircraft. But when we dispatch immediately ships to the areas that is made known to us, it was locks and also a locks tied together that looks like a pontoon to us. So there are a number of reports, number of of uh, sightings that we made. The Malaysia Maritime Enforcement Agency also spotted oil slicks in the South China Sea and they have took samples of it and that samples have been sent to the labs and hopefully when we receive the report from the lab we will inform you that that particular oil slicks or fuel that, they, that, that we took from the sea come from the missing aircraft. So there are various objects that we have seen, our team have seen, but none of them at this moment confirm any of them come from the aircraft. And for the aircraft to just go missing just like that, from the radar blip. There are many theories that have been said in the media. There are many experts around the world who have contributed their know-how and knowledge about what could happen, what has happened. And as far as we are concerned, we are equally puzzled as well. The, the Honorable Prime Minister used the word perplexing. We are equally puzzled as well. And to, to be confirmed what really happened on that particular day on this ill-fated aircraft, we need hard evidence. We need concrete evidence. We need parts of the aircraft for us to analyze, for us to do forensic study, for us to determine what really happens to the aircraft. Unfortunately, again, we are unable to secure any parts of the aircraft today to confirm that any parts of the aircraft to, uh, able to be located. We have intensified also, as mentioned in the, in the Straits of Malacca, possibility of the air turn back. Again, these are theories. Again, these are not speculation, but these are something that we cannot discount any other possibilities. These are the uh, things that we have to do. A lot of work has to be done. It's a paramount work for us to do it. It's unprecedented missing aircraft mystery, as you can, as you can put it. It is mystified, and we are increasing our efforts to do what we have to do. Malaysia Airlines is helping us. All the central agencies are helping us. Uh, all the experts around the world are helping us. But as far as we are concerned, we have to find the aircraft. We have to find bits of the aircraft, if possible. This is something that we have to do. Yes, there are reports about the two passengers flying on the aircraft with stolen passport. The authorities concerned is investigating the case. The, the, uh, the investigation team is now, as we speak, is going through all the records, going through all the video footage. And once we get any report from them, we will inform to all of you. We definitely inform what has been uh, gathered by the team of experts, of investigators 
pertaining to the two passengers. Yes, there are issues about the passengers that did not fly on the aircraft. There are five of them. Yes, we have to comply to the ICAO Annex 17 that any passengers that have a check-in but did not fly on the aircraft, we have to remove the baggage that they check in out of the aircraft. We have done so on this aircraft. And every, every passenger that check in with check in baggage are being recorded, are being given, are being given a, a unique serial number of its baggage. And they'll be given, they, they'll be given the, the slip of the baggage tag with their boarding pass. And this was done to make sure that the correct bags are being removed from the aircraft. And this was done by MES. MES team to remove the affected baggage from the aircraft so that the aircraft will not fly as we, as we put the term unaccompanied baggage. All baggage of that passenger not flown on that particular morning was removed from the aircraft. Also, there are talk about possible hijack. And this is not discounted by this. We are looking at every angle. We are looking at every aspect of, of what could happen on this ill-fated aircraft on this morning of Saturday, 7 March. Again, we have to have concrete evidence. We have to get the aircraft. We have to find the aircraft. And we are intens intensifying our effort to locate the aircraft. So um, these are the effort that we, 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 we understand uh, that you want answers from us, you want some uh, details and data from us. Is we are equally eager as you are to find details and parts of the aircraft. And uh, I hope you all be patient. And uh, our, our, our boys on, in, the, in the rescue control center, on the aircraft, on the ships now, are trying their best <coughs> to locate whatever they could find in the, in the areas that we have identified. And maybe it goes beyond that. Uh, we are every hour, every minute, every second looking at every inch of the sea of the areas that we have identified. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, gentlemen. Those who have the mic will start with the gentleman there, please. Dato, uh, is this a. Please, no, uh, could you identify yourself, please? Uh, Dato, uh, Dato Farid from Star. Uh, is this a. No narrowing down the investigation in, uh, as a possible mid-air explosion or mid-air disintegration at, the, at this at point? At this stage, we did not narrow any of the possibility. We are looking at all angles. We are looking at all angles of what could possibly happen on that affected flight. Okay, hold on, please. Sir, I'm from Asahi Shimbun. I would like to ask, usually when a plane disappears or, or goes down, there will be transmitting signal from the black box or something which continues to pump out signal. So, is, do you get any signal right now from under the sea or what? From the day the aircraft lost, from our, lost contact and disappeared from our radar, there's no signal being able to be detected by any of our ships of aircraft in the region of... Is, is there a reason why there's no signal? If we know the reason, we will tell you. We did not have the reason. Okay, please. Okay, that, that, that. Dr. Azim from NST. Uh, the beacon, usually, is it pilot automated or it, does it go off on its own? In, it in goes the off on its own on impact and where they touch water. Okay, uh, and then uh, on the rescue operation, will you double check the areas that have already been covered? Now it's 50 nautical yes, miles? Yes, we will double check. We will comb. We will, we will direct our aircraft <coughs> in such a way that they fly. They do not miss any of the things. And also from the, sh from the ship as well. Sorry. Last one, uh, are, are you... Sorry, sorry say. L last one. Uh, um, no, never mind. Hello, uh, hello, uh, yeah. hold my turn. Yeah, my hold turn. on, hold on, oh, gentlemen. I'm from Xinhua News Agency, and uh, I have a question that... I thought, I thought she's uh, got this yes. yes, Yes, lady. hold on. Yes, lady. 
Okay. Uh, two quick questions. Um, did the stolen passport holders have Asian faces? That's one. Number two, who has jurisdiction over the site of disappearance of the aircraft? Could you? I, I, I will not. I will not reveal too much on the two percent just because they are under investigation. Because any information that I give you might jeopardize the investigation that's going on. But on the areas of areas of us searching covers both the Malaysian waters and the Vietnamese waters. So two questions. Uh, three CNBC. Have the technical assistance okay, teams. I see you. I'm here, sir, in front. Oh, yeah. Have the technical assistance teams from the NTSB, Boeing, the FAA, and the French air accident investigators, which I believe have offered their assistance, have they arrived and have they started to do their work? The offer that we got are from FAA, <coughs> NTSB, USA, AAIB UK, and also the Australian. We have not got anything from the French yet. The FAA and NTSB, I was informed this morning, was already here. And we're going to meet them as soon as possible to, to discuss with them how could they offer their assistance to our investigation uh, of, of this uh, incident. Sir, so, uh, Dr. Dr. Tasha from the Mail Mail, yeah? Are we investigating a group from China called Matu, who is currently claiming responsibility? Can you give more information that because we have not receive any been, of this. It's been reported. Yes, what has been reported is something that we not verify officially. So yeah, are we investigating I have, the claim uh, of the group? That, that is more on security matters. Uh, I will, uh, we have to inform, so, we, have, we have to get the information from the security uh, people. Sir, will you, uh, when it's safe, will you issue the photographs of the two stolen passengers uh, to the media so that the public can help? I have to discuss that with our investigating officers, investigating team, and also to the relevant agencies in Malaysia. Could we do that? Because we don't want to be involved in the legal and terminus. Can you also, uh, have you investigated the whereabouts and who are these five people who didn't fly on the flight? And have their baggage been checked? What have they got in there? The baggage, the baggage as, the, as every baggage to the aircraft has been checked has been, uh, in, in layman's term, has been extrayed in accordance to the strict protocols of the International Civil Aviation Organization. And all check-in baggage are clean. That means they are, don't have any items that they are not supposed to be on board. Dr. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Questions on search and rescue, we do not go beyond that, please, on your yes, side, please. Uh, the family of the, chi the, the Chinese passengers will come to Kuala Lumpur and how will be, uh, talk about the arrangement of the Chinese passengers' uh, family? For that, uh, I leave it to... Uh, uh, okay, another question? Uh, yeah. Uh, the Chinese, uh, or rather the Chinese next of kin uh, of the Chinese passengers, uh, we have making arrangement to fly them to Kuala Lumpur. So uh, we'll be accommodating, uh, accommodating them uh, at uh, hotels around Kuala Lumpur. How many of the uh, Chinese family members can come uh, yeah. today or tomorrow? May, may, may I know who's speaking? Okay. Name is. Uh, it's Shu Lang from the South Metropolis Daily. Yes, we just wonder like how many Chinese family members can come today or tomorrow. And we we have made an offer of every uh, passenger to have two necks of kin to be flown immediately and then uh, we made an offer for each passenger uh, we are offering up to five necks of kin of which two to be flown immediately and uh, we plan to fly them either today or tomorrow and uh, the balance three will follow later okay uh, uh, the, uh, the, Panama uh, said, uh, Panama said, the Home Minister one Home last Minister Who's, who's speaking now? Who's speaking? The two passengers with Asian experience, can you confirm this? The two passengers with false passports with Asian experience, the Panama said, can you? I'm not prepared to reveal that. Sir, the Home Minister, sir, excuse me, sir, Please. the Home Minister has said that the two passengers with stolen passport has Asian features. So wouldn't 
someone, uh, so, you know, someone with Asian features but European passport raises some sort of suspicion? I mean, what, 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 what happened during that, that? That is the duty of the investigating team to determine what actually happened uh, in the morning of uh, Saturday during the check-in and also when the aircraft goes uh, to depart, uh, to the aircraft for departure. But actually, okay, two stolen passports can be used. Please. Don't you think this is a kind of security problem you, in here? You, in here? Hong Kong Phoenix TV, don't you think this is a serious security for problems in KL Airport? Don't you think this is serious? No, uh, we, we, have, we have to get the report from the investigating uh, team. As, as we speak, they are doing the investigation. What 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 the security that that been deployed now in KLIA meets the requirements of the International Civil Aviation Organization as stipulated in the Annex 17, and we have a National Civil Aviation Security Program that they have to they have to comply with, and as a DCA. We, are, we are, have done our surveillance and also our audits on KLIA and also we have been audited by uh, the Transport Security Administrators of, of, of USA and the, uh, uh, the Australian Security uh, Office of, of Australia. Uh, in the, in the recent years, yeah. Okay. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us have also mentioned that it is uh, a very big area for us to cover. It is, it is an incident that we all have to work together uh, to find that affected aircraft. That's okay, that's one that's last that's question that's from our friend there. Money from Bloomberg. That's 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 Bloomberg. You have come to the third day of your operations. Yes. And uh, is there any time frame? Uh, how, how many no, more days? There's no time frame. And sec that, there's no time frame, and it's if, if you read what happens to the Airbus of Air France A330 over the Atlantic Ocean, it takes two years after that, only then they're able to locate the aircraft. So, 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 as long, so we have to take as, 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 as long as, as, as you take to find the aircraft. Okay, secondly, have you increased your security protocol at KLA? I don't want to comment on that because it's called uh, security issues. But as I said, the security issues, security in KLA is already complied to the international standards. Okay, with that, thank you. Thank you. The session. Baik itulah dia sedikit sedutan hari, uh, hari pertama sidang media pada hari, uh, hari ketiga uh, sidang media pada hari pagi ini uh, disebutkan oleh uh, Ketua Pekarang Jabatan uh, Penerbangan Awam Dr. Azuddin Abdul Rahman Baik uh, apapun ikuti uh, perkembangan sidang media seterusnya dari semasa ke semasa Kita kembali bersama Hazal dan Masa Baik, uh, terima kasih Atika atas uh, perkembangan itu tadi Teruskan komitmen anda uh, dari pusat media KLIA Baik demikian tadi saudara sedang